In the last episode, we talked about, well, the idea of taking a sensor's output, which is going to be a voltage level, and converting it using an analog to digital converter into a pattern of ones and zeros that the computer could read to do a conversion process in order to figure out what voltage level that the sensor sent, what it converts to. Uh, so let's do an example. In fact, let's do a really simple example. Let's just convert, figure out what the conversion is if I'm doing a thermometer, you know, a thermometer to take a human's temperature, um, and we're getting a value back from an analog to digital converter, and we need to figure out what number to display on the output. So it's pretty simple. The engineers have designed that a, a specific minimum value coming out of that sensor, they have calibrated to say, I don't know, let's say that they're looking at a minimum temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And the electronics of the sensor and the analog to digital converter have figured out that the value that's going to correspond to the all zeros coming out of the analog to digital converter is going to represent 95 degrees. And let's say that we're looking at a maximum temperature of 108 degrees Fahrenheit. So there is our range. It's important to understand the range because once again, we need to know that one of these corresponds to the all zeros condition and one of these corresponds to the all ones condition. Let's also figure out exactly what our range is. Our range is equal to the maximum, 108 degrees, minus the minimum, 95 degrees. Well, this is gonna give us 13 degrees Fahrenheit as our range. 108 minus 95. So this is our base or our minimum. That's where we're going to start counting up from. And we are going to count up to the point uh, where we reach a range of 13 degrees, which will bring us to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the second piece of information we need, we need to know the range, we need to know this base, this minimum, but the next piece of information we need to know is, remember, the bit depth. And the bit depth the bit depth is what is going to tell us how many bits the analog to digital converter is going to give us whenever it does a conversion. And this is going to be fixed. Let's just go ahead and say that this is, I don't know, how about eight bits? All right. Now, there are two things that I'd like to get from this. The first thing I'd like to get is, what is the resolution? How much, every time we count up by one, how much does that translate in degrees Fahrenheit? So the resolution, this guy is equal to the range divided by, so we can come up with a better pen here, by the number of intervals. All right, now that number of intervals is coming directly from our bit depth because the bit depth tells us how long it takes, how many times we're counting up to go from the bottom, 95 degrees, up to the top, 108 degrees. So our resolution is going to be the 13 degrees Fahrenheit divided by 2 to the eighth minus 1. This minus 1, remember from last episode, means that we have to assign one of the patterns of ones and zeros, specifically the all zeros case, to our minimum value. What is this equal to? Well, let's take out our calculator here real quick. And so we've got 13 degrees divided by 255, which is going to give us about 0 0.05 degrees Fahrenheit per interval. That's pretty accurate considering really all we need is just 2.1, all right? So we could have actually done with half the number of bits that we've got there, but that's a good resolution for our thermometer. So, Second thing I want to do is to be able to come up with an expression that will allow us to make this conversion. I get from the analog to digital converter some sort of a temperature, some sort of a pattern of ones and zeros that represents the temperature. What temperature is it that we're actually looking at? So as an example, 
let's say um, the temperature that's coming back from our analog to digital converter is, uh, how about 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, all right? So remember, this value is just an identifier as to how many increments up we have counted from our base of 95. We need to figure out what this is in decimal in order to do the computation, at least on paper. The computer will do it for us. But on paper, let's go ahead and figure out what this is. Remember that this is just like unsigned binary. So this is the ones place, the twos place, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. So our value is 64 plus 8, that's 72, plus 2, 74, plus 1. This is 75 base 10. All right. So when we get this back from the analog to digital converter, what it's saying is, is we have counted up 75 of these increments from 95. Well, the expression is, and so our temperature that we're actually reading, this is equal to, remember we're starting at the base of 95, so it's 95 degrees plus how much we've counted up from 95 degrees. That would be 75 times 13 degrees over 255. Now I'm going to make a real quick point here. Notice I used the fraction 13 divided by 255 and didn't use this. I didn't use the 0.05 degrees Fahrenheit per interval. The reason why I did not use the, the, the rounded version was because, sure, if I am really close to 95, any rounding that occurred in that will be minimal. But the farther I get away from 95 and the closer I get to my maximum, the larger this multiplier is going to be and the larger the error is going to be incurred as a result of our rounding. So whenever you're doing this operation, always do the fraction. Don't do the rounded value. So let's figure out what our temperature is. So we're looking at 75 times 13 divided by 255, that means we are 3.82 degrees above 95. So we add it to 95 and we get approximately, uh, I'm going to use my approximately symbols here because this is going to be rounded somewhat, 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what we will display on the front of our thermometer. So this gives us an idea of how we take the range that's given to us by the engineers and the bit depth which is given to us by our analog to digital converter in order to figure out what analog value we're looking at in the real world.